My name's Luke Hassan, and welcome to this presentation on Vietnamese cuisine. Vietnam is located in Southeast Asia, bordering China and the Gulf of Tonkin to the north, the South China Sea to the east and south, and the Gulf of Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos to the west. Vietnam has a long history of being occupied. At various points in history, Vietnam has been a colony of China and France, had various kingdoms of its own, and has been invaded by Cambodia and Japan for shorter periods of time. These occupations have all affected the Vietnamese cuisine and still influence daily eating patterns. Food in northern Vietnam, for example, has a strong Chinese feel, with the use of soy sauce instead of the traditional Vietnamese fish sauce commonplace. Central Vietnam generally has a very noble feel from the kingdoms of the second millennia, notably the Shampa. It is characterised by many dishes in a spread for one meal. The more dishes, the wealthier the household. South Vietnam replaces chilies with peppers and with a large amount of fruit produced in the region, sweet fruity additions are common in dishes of meat and vegetables. This region, again, is influenced by the Cambodian Angkor cuisine, once Vietnam's ruler, now its neighbour. There is also a large vein of French influence still very visible across the country. Potatoes, asparagus, onions, just to name a few, as well as bread were all French staples now used in various areas of the Vietnamese diet. Rice is a huge staple in Vietnam, rice with soup being the national dish. Long white rice is favoured and is either steamed, used to make noodles, wine, vinegar or rice paper rolls. These noodles, together with a broth filled with supplementary vegetables and a protein sauce, such as meat, fish or tofu, make up the widely eaten soups. Vietnamese condiments revolve around the ever-present noc man, a salty fish sauce that is present at almost every meal and used in almost every recipe. Noc chan, the dipping sauce brother of noc man, is also hugely popular. Many herbs are used, such, such as perilla, mint, basil, dill and lemongrass, as well as shallots, ginger, saigon, cinnamon, garlic and peppercorn to give their food vibrancy and a sharper flavour. Viet cooking methods, like many East Asian country, countries, include steaming, stewing, boiling, grilling, and fresh wrapping. Also included are stir frying and general frying, though these are limited to the north of the country mostly. Often, when stewing or boiling, meat and vegetables will be left in a broth over a fire to cook overnight, infusing them with a rich taste and melt in your mouth feel that is sought after by the Vietnamese. The number five is very important in Vietnamese culture, which stems from the principles of Wu Zing, the five elements, metal, wood, earth, fire, and water. Each dish will balance out the five fundamental taste senses, spicy, sour, bitter, salty, and sweet, to match the five traditional internal organs, gallbladder, small intestine, large intestine, stomach, and urinary bladder, and include the five types of nutrients, powder, liquid, mineral elements, protein, and fat and contain the five colours, white, green, yellow, red and black. Many Viets are also Mayahana Buddhists, which means a large proportion of Vietnamese food is vegetarian. Vietnamese weddings are huge occasions that centre around food that has meaning, usually for happiness, peace, longevity and good luck. Such foods include lobster, quail, noodles and sweet fruits, respectively. Traditional weddings serve eight dishes. Other special occasions include the first day of each lunar month, in which the Buddhist population does not eat any animal products. Vietnam is a large producer of rice, most of which is consumed in Vietnam, but some which is exported. It also imports a large amount of rice. Fishing is a large industry in Vietnam also, and again, most of what is caught in Vietnam is eaten there, but it also exports a lot of fish, almost 2.5 million tonnes in 2014. Vietnam is also a large importer of dairy, beverages, meat and processed food, and a large exporter of rice, pepper, tea, coffee, and tobacco. Following graphs of comparisons between Vietnam and Australia of the apparent consumption of four key commodities, rice, fish and seafood, poultry meat, and sugar. The apparent consumption of rice, as shown in this graph, is much, much larger in Vietnam than Australia with Vietnam having a supply quantity of almost 13 million tonnes compared to Australia's of less than 1 million. Vietnam also has a much larger apparent consumption of fish and seafood. Vietnam also edges out Australian apparent consumption of poultry meat. However, the supply quantities are very similar. 
Over the years, sugar has been one of Australia's primary industries. However, in 2014, Vietnam still edged Australia out in terms of supply quantity. There were not very many Vietnamese people in Australia prior to the end of the Vietnam War. Only 382 Vietnamese Victorians were recorded in the 1976 census. The majority came as refugees in the late 70s and early 80s via boat, fleeing from the persecution they were facing from the new communist government. By 1981, there were over 12,000 Vietnamese people born in Vietnam living in Victoria. Today, that number is over 68,000. Vietnamese food is ever-present in every town and city with a Vietnamese immigrant population. For example, the ever-popular pho can be found in many Asian takeaway outlets and little family-run restaurants. Vietnamese fruits and vegetables are also found in specialty stores as well as in major supermarkets. Foods such as bitter melon, durian, papaya, taro and cabbage, as well as yams, are becoming common items in Woolworths, Coles and Aldi. Thanks for listening.